um, speaking of other ways to store the makeup, I went to Walmart in the craft section after watching numerous videos. Um, and I picked up this little bead organizer. And it looks like this. And I've already put some of my pigments or loose shadows in there. Um, the only bad part about this one is it's the stackable containers. So you have to unscrew and unscrew and unscrew to get to them. It's not the single ones. I wanted the single ones, but I like this container better. And the single ones sat in the container flat, but I like this better. So I got this, and like I said, I have my loose shadows and pigments in there. So far, I hadn't had any leakage, only out of this blue glitter. And it must just be a glitch in this lid or whatever the case may be. But that is the only one that's giving me problems is that blue glitter so but I thought that that was a cute little concept another thing I picked up at Walmart was these little cups in the office supply section they were marked down to 75 cents and of course you're probably thinking I'm going to use them to house lip gloss and stuff like that if that's what you're thinking then you are wrong I'm actually going to turn it upside down and sit it on top of some old candlesticks that I have, candle stands, and I'm going to hang earrings in the little holes like this. Like that on the candle stands and it will house my earrings. So that's what I'm going to do with my little 75 cent cups from Walmart. Okay, then I went over to Target, and at Target I picked up, my goodness, does y'all's Target have as much elf stuff as mine do? I know around the holidays, Christmas, you saw a couple of gift sets, um, I picked up some brushes um, from there, but they have a display, entire display. Maybe I'll take my camera with me tomorrow and we'll go and I'll show you guys what all my Target has as far as e.l.f. products are concerned. But anywho, I picked up some makeup wipes from e.l.f. I had to try these out and can I say, love them. I love them. Love them. My face, after cleaning my face, it felt so smooth. All night, I just kept doing like this. I love them. So, of course, you know, I'm not going to run out and overdo it, but I will be picking up some backup in the e.l.f. wipes because it beats Arter in the studio line or whatever this is. Yeah, e.l.f. studio line on, off the internet and having to pay shipping and handling. So, I will pick up back up in that. And then I picked me up a couple of blushes. I picked up one called, um, this one is called Berry Mary. Um, and this is how it looks. And then I picked up another one in Blushing Rose. And I'll show you how that one looks. I just looked and saw that my battery is low. So hopefully I'm able to finish this video. But that's Blushing Rose. I picked up Blushing Rose trying to be slick because I want so bad to buy Amber and Rose Blush by MAC. And so I thought Blushing Rose by e.l.f. would be a dupe, but um, no, it does, it's no, nowhere near the same color. Um, so I will be, I know, brace yourselves, I will be visiting the MAC counter this week, you guys, to make my very, very first MAC purchase to pick up me some Amber and Rose Blush and a, um, I'm not going to pick up a Dazzle Glass, I think it's a Luster Glass in Spring spring bean, a green color, something um, is what I decided I was going to get. I'm not going to go for the dabble glass in which that, that would have been my first thing. I may end up buying an eye, a cheek, and a lip, but I don't know. I may just do the cheek and the lip because I really want the blush. The makeup artist that does my makeup professionally when I get it done for photo shoots and stuff always uses that blush on me and I love it. So I'm going to get that. Um, let's see. CVS. Okay, CVS. Went to my mom's house last week. You remember I told you that. Y'all done heard it a hundred times. Forgot my makeup, my little makeup bag that I carry in my purse at home. Didn't have any foundation, no powder, anything like that. 
So I had to run out and get something. So I ran out. I didn't want to buy something I already had. You know, I got that clean line by CoverGirl. I have, um, you know, Revlon and stuff like that. So I didn't want to rebuy anything I already had. So I decided to give L'Oreal a try. L'Oreal True Match. I got it in the color Coco C8. Why is this my new love? You guys. Why? It's like designed to... And yes, I'm using a sponge. It's like designed to match your skin. This is my new love. So I will definitely be hitting pan on this. Yeah. Okay, so also, and I just did this transaction today. Remember I bought the Revlon Photo Ready? Didn't like it. I was scared about the powder. Knew it would be too light. So I ended up returning that and getting another colored stay in cappuccino and then I tried the custom creations by Revlon it's not open yet so I won't say I've tried it but I bought this one to try it oh another eBay purchase look yay I got L'Oreal hip duo in rascal mm-hmm miss money baby you little rascal you knew I was looking for this one you knew it you knew it anyway found it on eBay yay I got it love you miss money baby you know I was hating on you when I saw you had it. You know that. Okay, so another thing I picked up at CVS was another L'Oreal Decrease. Thanks to, I think, Fashion Queen 27 was the first one I ever saw using L'Oreal Decrease. And I love it. I watch videos and some people are like, eh, no, but I really, I love it. I had my sister-in-law buy some. She sold on it too. So, thanks for that little tip and using that. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond, really quick. This is the last thing I picked up. I didn't know Bed Bath & Beyond sold cosmetics, y'all. I went in there tonight and I was like, when did all this happen? But anywho, they were having a clearance sale. And these are Rimmel lip glosses called Light Beams. And this is in the color uh, Strobe Light, Disco Ball, Spotlight, and After Hours. And they come in these little containers like this. And like I said, they're called light beams. And look at that. Can y'all see? Stop, Rimmel. Lighten up this gloss. That is too cute. Little light, come on. They need to quit. But anywho, these were 75% off. So one of them cost me like 94 cents and the other three cost me like a dollar and some change. Um, and then this was two lipsticks in a pack. Um, they are by... Rimmel also, and they are called Volume Booster Lip Color with Collagen. As if I need anything else on these lips. But anywho, it was a double pack and it cost a dollar and some change too. So I got that. And these are Rimmel London Eye Twist. Um, automatic Duo Liner and Shadow. One end is the liner. And the other end is, well that was the shadow. And the other end is the liner. And these were... Um, 52 cents. They were 75% off and they were 52 cents. So I got that from Bed Bath & Beyond. That is it for this video, my collective haul video. I am going to come back to you guys with one more video and that will be my little updated makeup storage video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Like I always say, if they can't handle you at your worst, they don't deserve you at your best. Smooches.